Alexis. If you're here from part one of the embroidery tutorial, this is part two. So part two is I'm going to be showing you how to embroider on your clothing. So you can choose a sweater, you can choose a coat, you can choose a cap, or if you want to just embroider onto material that you have, such as felt or canvas, you can. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to embroider on a jean jacket. It's the one I have and I've already done the pocket. So this is my pocket here. And then I'll be doing the other pocket. So I'll be doing the same design on this side. This one, I used all the stitches from part one of the video. All the stitches are there and I'll be going through them. Oh, I have some examples of materials that you could embroider on. This is a canvas patch that I did. It's just on regular canvas that you can buy at the store. A lot of people use canvas for all sorts of things. So this is one of them. Um, this is done on felt and melt and wool. Felt and melt and wool are, are they're very similar to each other in the, in the texture. So this is one of them. Here's another patch that I did on canvas. And this is a Norwegian end cap. So there's there I did uh, embroidery. It was hard to do it on this one because it's, it is rough, but you can definitely still embroidery on the cap. I'll be going into materials in this one, but I'm not going to be using a hoop this time, but I'll, like, I'll explain it during the tutorial. So let's get started on embroidering on some clothes. All right, so I have my jean jacket. Um, like I said, I'm going to be uh, embroidering my pocket here. First, what I'm going to do is I'll be drawing my pattern. And I'll keep in mind the stitches that I want to use, so I'll be drawing it out. You can use a pen. I'm going to be using the disappearing ink. You can draw your pattern out first on a piece of paper just to plan it out, and then you can be as accurate as you can with your drawing and then drawing it on your fabric. If you're using a thin material like t-shirt, you should be able to put your drawing underneath, putting your t-shirt on top, and then having like a light, like I use my phone flashlight and I'll put it underneath and it'll like, you'll, you'll see the image on the, and then you'll be able to trace. But uh, this is kind of thick, so I'm gonna just wing it. What we had done here, um, we did a rose, the satin stitch, a French knot, back stitch, and chain stitch. Uh, you don't have to use all of these, but I I'll use all of them. And uh, I'm just gonna make whatever pattern comes to together. So I think I'll start with a rose in the middle. This is my embroidery thread, and I'll pick the colors after. So I think I'm just gonna stick with embroidering something at the top here, or maybe going this way on the corners. Um, I have to make it easy for me to go through and put my hand, because I don't wanna sew my pocket together. The rose, start with uh, just about here dot in the middle. I just go by eyeing everything and then um, I guess like two leaves. So I'll do the satin stitch here, the rose, and let's do some lines. Something like that. I think here I'll do French knot. Here I'll do the back stitch. So I'll chain stitch here and then some French knot here. I can do another back stitch on this side too. So I got my pattern and now I'm going to pick my colors. Now for the rose, I think I'll do a red. I have a red here. The leaves I'll use the same color and then this chain stitch, these vines here. The French knots I'll do in a yellow, the rose I'll do in a red, and then these lines here I'll do in a blue. All right, so I'm getting my needle and I'm gonna use the same one I used for the uh, example. Now, in the other video, um, I did say to use a embroidery hoop, but it depends what you're going to be embroidering on. So the felt is very like flimsy, it's hard to hold on to just by yourself with your hand. If you're going to be embroidering on a t-shirt or any material that's very like soft like a sweater, if it's too difficult, especially the t-shirt I find, to use an embroidery hoop. But this material is very... Um, it's not as flimsy as the other ones, it's not going to be, and it's sewn on, so I can't really put a hoop in there anyway and embroider it comfortably. So I'll just be doing it by hand and I can tug, you know, if I need to. So I have my rose, and first I did tie my knot. I didn't split this one. So let's start the rose. 
watch the first video or if you remember the first video about either choosing to split your embroidery thread or not. So I've gone through, you can see I didn't go through this so I can still have my pocket. All the stitches I'm showing are in the first video. So I think I need to flip my coat around just because it's not comfortable to stitch this way. If you're holding your fabric in a weird position for a long time, your hand is going to cramp up and you don't want to hurt yourself. So you find a comfortable position that doesn't require you to have your hand awkwardly, like my hand will be like this the whole time, and it's going to start to hurt here. Alright, so there's my rose. So I'm just gonna tie a knot. Make sure to tie a secure knot. You don't want your work to go undone when you're wearing it. So what's neat about the rose too is that you see this section here that's like open in the middle there. You can put a French knot in there if you want. So let's take some yellow. So here's my yellow thread. And I'm just gonna try to poke right in the middle of the rose. Do my French knot. Try not to go through any knots, so if you feel resistance, take your needle out and try to go through again, and avoiding the knots on the back. There. You got a French knot in there. And then turn your fabric and tie a knot. There we go. So we did the rows. Now I'm gonna do the, uh, this, the vines that I drew. So I need my green. Okay, so for the vines, I said I was going to do the chain stitch. Okay, so I'm going to be following that line all the way until the end here. So let's do that. All right, I'm at my last stitch. And there's my chain stitch, so I'm gonna tie a knot. Okay. So the next chain, let's do that. If I wanna keep it even, I can count the two, the chain, so one, two, three, so there's 10, so I'll try to do 10 stitches on that side too. Time it up. All right, so we're done the vines. So we did the chain stitch. And now um, I need to draw it again. But I think I'll do the French knots here now. So I'm gonna take my yellow. So French knot. Mm, 
end over here. Now you can tie off each knot, but I'm just gonna continue. You're not gonna see the back anyway. It's fine. Just don't pull too hard, because if you pull too hard, your fabric will do that weird thing. So, you know, if it's easier for you to tie it off and then start again, do it. Now I'm gonna tie my knot off. Though. So next thing I'm gonna do the back stitch. I'll do leave the leaves for last. And I'm gonna follow this line first. Now I could go all the way, but I wanted to I don't want the like I could just bring the knot here, but then I it'll might come up. So you know I want it to look nice. So I'm gonna do small stitches. Maybe two is good. Because they're kinda of, they're quite small, the lines too. So the back stitch again you refer to the first video. I could have also done the vines in the back stitch, but I won't like this chain the look of it. They look like braids. If you don't tie a knot, um, your work will come undone. If it gets snagged on something or over time, it'll just pop out of the fabric, so you need to tie those knots. All right, so we're gonna do leaves now, and my ink is disappearing, so let's make it darker. So it's up to you too, which way, if you wanna go this way. Or if you want to go the long way, so like that, and that's that's what I'll do for this one. That means uh, I'll be going straight across, like that. And like, don't pull too hard, or your fabric will warp. So just like keep it like that. Pull it just a little. And then I'll follow this purple line that I drew. So that means that my next stitch will go. So you see the, the lines are getting smaller. Now I'm just gonna go and do the other side. There we go. And tie my knot. There's one leaf. Now the next one. go. So 
So here is the final piece. So you used five stitches, French knot, back stitch, chain stitch, satin stitch, and rose stitch. There we go. Now I might do the other same thing to the other side of my pocket, but I like it, it's cute. There you go, you can embroider on any surface, any material, and this is mine. So have fun with the stitches and embroider on everything. So thank you so much for watching.